Essential Dad here for another video. Uh, it's another beautiful uh, sunny May day. It's uh, May 30th, 2023. It's already 30 degrees out. And man, I wish I had some water with me on this uh, hike. It's hot. I'm thirsty. I don't know what to do. God, it's been a few hours and yeah, it's still too hot. Uh, still haven't found no water yet. And uh, I, I don't know, the water's probably questionable to drink and geez, I, I probably should have packed something. Definitely not gonna be drinking that. Dear God. Wait. What's that? Oh my God, is that it? It is. It's the Holy Grail. I'm saved. Here's today's uh, gear review. This is the Grail purification system. Um, this here water filter is absolutely the best one I have seen or came across for the price, durability, and how many uses. Um, I get mine in bright orange, that way it's easy to see and spot. They come in all kinds of different colors. The uh, construction of it is very durable plastic. Uh, has rubberized grip on it, which is nice. Uh, of course it's waterproof, but um, it has ru rubber seals on it. Um, the rubber up around the top, so it's not slippery. It has a spot where you can push down on while you're filtering the uh, water. Here's a drink cap. Also vent when you're pushing down on the uh, inner chamber. It comes apart in two sections. Your outer section. Here's your filter. It just screws on and off. This is the inner section. And that top comes off there. You're highly versatile. Nice little uh, strap here, a little handle to hang on to. You can put lace through it and attach it to your bag. There's a nice flexible cap strap so it doesn't uh, come off. And it won't break, it's very durable. Here's your indicator. Window vent. And here's a green one, so if I want to open it up to vent, I can turn it here to seal it up. I can put it there. So if I'm pushing this down into my water, I want to have it vented enough so I can actually push down on it or else it will get air locked and it won't allow me to. I'm give you a spot for your hands to go to, right here. Nice spot. This goes roughly for 130. I got this one at sale in Cambridge, Ontario. The filters are replaceable. Some spots you can get them for the ultralight ones um, for $25 or up to $50 for the larger grail press. Now, what I like about this is um, like a water bladder, you're gonna have to worry about punctures and that sort of stuff and it has a hose to it and you have to um, keep your hose clean. You have to keep the inside of your uh, bladder clean. You can get inline hoses or water filters for your uh, water bladders fine and dandy. This one here um, is a filter and everything all in one. And the convenience of it is um, I find a lot better. It will probably outlast a water bladder or a camel back. Let me correct that. Because um, as soon as you get a hole in it, you're always going to have to worry about it and it's not going to function the same as it did uh, previously. This here um, you really don't have to worry about the outside of it, they're very durable, and the only thing you have to change is 
the filter itself when it's ready to be changed. As well, it does filter out 99.9999% of all uh, viruses, heavy chemicals, metals, um, bacteria, uh, giardia, that sort of thing in waterways. Um, it will take out chlorine from your uh, water taps if you decide to use it on a daily basis. But if you're out canoeing, hiking, cycling, camping in a sur survival situation, if you come across a water source like this, you are very much safe in using the uh, Grail water f filter purification system. This is relatively fast moving water, so it's clean, it's not stagnant, it's not sitting around. Um, where it's still May, it's still cold, so it hasn't been um, heated up fully, where there's been a lot of uh, bacteria build up. So I will fill up the grail and I'll show you how it works. I'm going to fill up my grail from here. Nice, fairly clean water. You can see some debris in there. I come over here to a nice flat spot. Okay, I'm going to come over here to a nice flat spot up here on the bank so I don't spill my water. You can see some debris in the bottle in the outer canister. Here I'm going to vent my grill so it doesn't airlock on me. I'm going to place and sure my filters on tight. I'm going to put my grail down inside. And as you can see, I'm putting my weight on it. I'm not pushing. I'm just letting my weight do the job. It's going down. It takes roughly 25 seconds. 15 to 25 seconds. That's it. Now, You don't want to get any dirt or any of your water that you got out of the uh, river or your water source around the lip of it because you want to keep your water clean. But there's the filtered water that came through the filtration system of the grail. And put that back on. Now you get safe, clean drinking water at your disposal. And it's all right here in your bottle, which is filtered through the uh, filter on the bottom. No bad taste. It's fresh, it's clean. It's still relatively cold. But is your uh, water source. Anyway, I hope you liked the video on the uh, Grail purification water filter system. Take care, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you next time. Take care.